Hey, what's up guys? Snoopy Minotaur here, and yes, it is time for me to talk about something that a lot of you have been really wanting to hear my thoughts about. I wanted to wait until this season dropped so that then I can finally talk about this here, and that is Battle Passes. As you all know, a little over, I want to say a little over half a year ago, I made a video talking about Battle Passes and how maybe they shouldn't be exclusive anymore. It was a big topic earlier this year, and a lot of people were mixed about it. People were on one side saying that, yeah, they should be exclusive. The other side said that they shouldn't be exclusive. And within that video, I was pretty much 50-50 on it. I would say that maybe original cosmetics should stay exclusive and that skins, which are collaborations, should release into the item shop. Well, earlier this month on August 7th of 2024, Epic made a massive bombshell and it happened at the funniest time, might I say. Um, and that is that they are changing the item exclusivity in future battle passes. They made a whole entire blog post about it, so I'm going to talk about it here. This is what they had to say. Items in future Fortnite Battle Passes might be offered for purchase in the Fortnite item shop after 18 or more months from the Battle Passes expiration. A Battle Pass item may include a different number of its alt styles each time it comes to the shop. This changes the let us continue investing in new and exciting Battle Pass rewards while enabling players down the road to also enjoy content including outfits based on popular licensed characters. Battle Pass benefits stay the same. Pages for unlockable rewards you can use across one or more Fortnite experiences. You'll still be able to progress in a Battle Pass by playing any experiences that great xp that's pretty much what they said there and there's also a little faq section here they pretty much said that yes at least 18 months after a battle pass expires any item that's from a battle pass may be included in the item shop for purchase this pretty much includes almost every kind of cosmetic that they have in a battle pass but obviously there is a huge one as of why they're doing this here and i wanted to read this off here in the faq section here and that is about the ips one reason for this change is that we want players down the road to enjoy battle pass content such as outfits based on popular licensed characters. While there is no guarantee that a battle pass item will come to the item shop after this change, IP content from future battle passes might come out into the item shop at least 18 months after the battle pass expires. That is absolutely crazy. Like that is the one big problem, which I think a lot of us have had with battle passes for many years now, and that was the collaborations. I've said this several times on this channel, and I think a lot of people can agree with me on this here, but I think it was a really bad idea for them to put Battle Pass cosmetics, like more or less IP characters, iconic characters behind Battle Passes and make them exclusive to that Battle Passes and then for them to never re-release again. Like if someone was a fan of Marvel and they wanted to get Tony Stark, they can never get him. Or Darth Vader from Star Wars, one of the most iconic villains of all time, is never going to return unless if they make a reskin of him, which... We actually just saw recently with Deadpool. He got a reskin last season with the pen and ink version. So I guess there is a workaround around some of the older battle passes, which is cool to see because those battle passes, which for those who are worried, are still going to be exclusive. So that means from chapter one, season two, all the way to through last season, chapter five, season three, all those battle pass cosmetics are exclusive to their battle passes. They will never release. But starting with this season, which coincidentally is a Marvel themed battle pass and a Marvel themed season, they will be able to release in the item shop after 18 months, which is absolutely great to hear. So that means if people missed out on Gwenpool for this season, well, there is a chance for her to come back after 18 months, which is absolutely great. It does suck, however, that a lot of the skins that they are locking behind battle passes from the previous seasons, which are IPs, will never re-release. Like having Peter Griffin being locked behind here is really sad. The only way we can ever see him return in Fortnite in some way, shape or form is if Epic decide to do a new version of of that skin and this pretty much applies to every other ip skin that we've had in a battle pass before the only way for us to ever see them ever return is if they were to do a reskin for the item shop or if they just decide to put another version of them in the battle pass who really knows when it comes to the original skins i'm not sure how people are going to react to that once we see original skins be putting in the battle passes again because obviously with this season it's all marvel themed so they're all collaboration skins i'm curious to see on how the fortnite community is going to react to them putting 
getting original skins from battle passes in the item shop because i feel like they've gotten that down pretty well because they make item shop versions of the battle pass skins like with midas for example he has a bunch of them peely as well is another great example of this and just recently we have a new hope skin that just came out to the item shop so it's definitely possible for them to just continue what they're doing normally when it comes to the original skins from battle passes but with ips i think that's just a way different story i think this is a really good change in my opinion i definitely think that this is a really smart idea but i have seen people saying that oh this is gonna make battle passes not worth it anymore it's not worth getting battle passes it's a complete ripoff what's the point of getting them i would argue against that because battle passes are still worth the 950 v bucks guys just because they're making this change so that battle pass cosmetics are not exclusive that doesn't automatically mean the battle passes are not worth getting still 950 v bucks for a battle pass that gives out so many cosmetics that are worth like hundreds of dollars more or less i would say like i think over a hundred dollars is insane and we're not paying full price for them once they come out into the item shop so i don't know why there's so many people complaining about this like is it because exclusivity for people matter in that type of context because in my opinion i think that exclusivity and battle passes should not apply to ips i think that's just something a lot of us can agree on and i'm glad that this is one of the biggest reasons to why this change is happening original skins i'm not sure how to feel about that until they do eventually release after 18 months once we start seeing more of them be added into future battle passes but again this is not until over 18 months we pretty much have a year and a half just to wait for these for this whole entire thing to pretty much be put into effect so who really knows but the reason why i said this earlier in this video was that coincidentally this came out the day after the paradigm skin came out which that was a whole situation that happened if you want to check out that video top brand quarter but i'll give a little clip notes version of it essentially epic accidentally re-released the paradigm skin which was a limited time cosmetic from season x into the item shop for one hour and people are saying that the paradigm coming back into the item shop for that one hour is the reason why they decided to change the exclusivity within the battle pass and i actually found this out just recently too they also released a jam track from the battle pass from i think it was chapter 5 season 2 into the item shop for a short period of time but if that's also one of the reasons to why this is happening with battle passes as i would not be surprised but yeah this change overall is actually a pretty good one i'm very excited to see on how this is going to go over with the fortnite community because i'm seeing a lot of people very excited about this change i think we can all agree that exclusivity really does suck unless if it's a console like a skin that's tied to like a console or a phone or even pc things like that people are fine with those exclusivity type things but not like limited time i am shop cosmetics or with battle passes especially with ips this change overall is actually a really positive one in my opinion i'm very excited to see on how this will be handled and what the fortnite community's reaction is going to be once we see cosmetics from battle passes going forward be released into the item shop but ladies and gentlemen that is it for today's video i really hope you all enjoyed it if you did happen to enjoy this video consider subscribing to the channel don't forget to check out my twitter akmx account also don't forget to use my support credit code in the fortnite item shop that is minnow5 that is m-i-n-o-5 thank you all so much for watching i love every single one of you remember everyone it's always good to take chances